Hi everyone, welcome to Questions and Reason 2023. It's your boy, the R. It's the R, baby. It's the R, my G. It's the R, boy. Alright, so, um, yeah, um, I know I've been away for a while. Three to four months. It's a long time. People have been complaining. We want the content. We want to learn and stuff like that. I'm so sorry to everybody who felt inconvenience in any way. Alright. Um, I was busy with a, a book should be out sometime this year I thought let me write something and you know uh, try to educate through literature okay yeah but I'm back now I'm gonna be dropping videos frequently now all right yeah so this year I I'm trying to combine sessions with the founder with um, I mean concepts uh, people who follow the page will know what concepts or sessions with the founder is I'm not gonna try and explain that you can watch previous videos okay um, yeah off to the topic of the day uh, punishment okay um, punishment That's what we're gonna be tackling today all right so um, punishment has been around as long as civilization has been around so yeah let's try to tackle the history first civilization all right so history history of punishment so punishment stems from I mean, the law stems from punishment. So, we want to regulate social behavior. Social behavior. Deter crime. And so on and so forth. So, there's a lot of reasons why punishment exists, right? People want to live in a, a space where they feel safe and if there is no law that regulates behavior people can do whatever they want they can just do whatever they will break in your home kill you without consequences and yeah so social behavior has to be regulated or okay let me put it as the third point to discipline particularly children so we're gonna try and tackle the household schools the workplace hopefully we'll get to the workplace because I'm not sure how long this thing can take and I don't want to spend a lot of time doing videos. I have so much I need to be doing. So, But I will try as much as I can to try and drop the second one or the third one if the, you know this time does not suffice. Okay? So, yeah, we have law. We have law enforcement. We have jails because of punishment. And... If you are a person who read um, scriptures such as the Quran or the Torah or the Bible, you will understand that punishment existed before civilization. Right? So, the devil was unruly or Satan, the devil, was unruly and was punished for it in the form of what isolation casting out they cast him out of heaven so isolation this is go to your room go to your room 
okay i had somebody ridiculing the concept of go to your room and i quickly realized that they don't understand the history of go to your room and how effective it really was and its long-term effects along with the short ones i'm gonna try and take a little when we get to the household part right so i was speaking of the devil to say he was cast out isolated ostracization as other people would know it um so isolation is a form of punishment in fact the devil himself in the book of job expresses the effects it had on him and you can pick it up loneliness so he said when when he presented himself before god along with the other sons of god here when god asked him what what are you doing and he says i'm just shy strong and done and going up and down right to and fro normally a person who goes to and fro doesn't really have a purpose doesn't have uh meaning is uh, yeah so he doesn't have much to do so we can see that isolation is so powerful that it can affect a fallen angel all right let me try to erase this hopefully so far we are all right we are okay now punishment uh here we go all right in the household let's start with the household punishment in the household yeah so every house has some sort of a law even the ones that you think they are lawless there is some sort of order that keeps the household together without order the how the household cannot be together there is some sort of household order or law right and parents use parents use punishment to keep the law in order to keep the law in order of the house to discipline their children there is an argument that punishment doesn't really change um behavior but the question is was it intended to change behavior punishment is not intended to change behavior it is intended to instill discipline and to instill self control doesn't have to change behavior completely but it can if you instill discipline and self control people can keep themselves um what's this inside the law or to respect authority of the house like i said parents use it to what to keep the law in order to discipline and to instill self control now there is a lot of debate on what are the great methods of sorry the So the the debate around punishment which one is the best method to instill discipline in your children we're going to explore a couple I'm not saying that right I'm saying that this is what we have at the moment 
so we have yelling let me say verbal punishment verbal punishment so it can come in the form of uh, just that verbal punishment which can come in a form of yelling screaming at your children and a lot of times people don't really punish but they're venting out their frustrations so some parents instead of trying to instill discipline and or try to punish or try to keep their children out of control they are creating an environment where there is lack of trust because what, what they're doing is actually venting out their frustrations you'll find that somebody's having a bad day and a child has to be lashed because of it a child has to be yelled at because of it and yeah so verbal punishment if it's not punishment is venting out then that's when it is what we call abuse abuse um people confuse abuse and punishment abuse and punishment is not one and the same thing punishment is you did one two three four these are your consequences for it these are the consequences of you being punished in the certain household households cannot be the same i mean there is a law that is making it illegal for uh, parents to action corporal punishment let's let's write it down corporal punishment so a lot of governments are making it illegal for you to um, hit your child, hit children, or spanking, or whatever you want to call it. They make it illegal because they can't regulate it. They don't know when it's punishment and when it's abuse. But they don't say anything about yelling. They don't say anything about go to your room. Okay, let's go to go to your room. Before that, uh, governments also use punishments, right? You have jails. You have fines. Let's say right now you are speeding on the road. You, you run into a traffic cop and then they, they, they give you a traffic fine or maybe they want cold drink. That is a form of punishment. If you didn't run into the traffic cop, you were not going to pay it, right? They are trying to discourage not just you, but people who are watching not to participate in such a behavior. But they make it hard for, for parents to, uh, to instill self-discipline. And I understand why they make it hard because they themselves cannot regulate. They can't define the difference between punishment and abuse. Okay. Um, what I wanted to talk about was the go to your room. So if the government is standing in the way of ch parents punishing their children, this means that the misbehavior that is seen or picked up at home is now going out when children are playing and this means that they can get in trouble um, with um, with the law maybe breaking into somebody's home or loot or stuff like that then the government doesn't now comes to the to the parent and say you didn't do a good job right instead of having sessions between parents and children therapy sessions with a trained professional and educating on okay these are long-term effects when you you 
spank a child. A child now is in the environment of fear or is, you know, having anxiety or low self-esteem. But we don't have places like this where children and parents can be trained together on why is punishment important. What will, what will they do? They will, in fact, lock your child up in jail because your child doesn't have discipline and blame you for it and say you didn't do a good job raising your child. Right? So I feel like the government should work together with the parents. If they are saying, no, we're discouraging this, they must give an alternative route plus support on how to raise uh, a good family that has a, a healthy environment, right? The go to your room phenomenon. Let me go to that one. <sighs> okay, and go to your room. So like I said, I had someone who I respect ridiculing it and I was very disappointed to say sometimes you just need to go and find out more before you ridicule anything you don't know because we ridicule things because we don't know <laughs> alright go to your room Go to your room, as we already established, that is a form of isolation. Solitary confinement in Victor it has roots in the Victorians, right? So what would happen is the room would be a solitary confinement. I know that kids of nowadays kids they have cell phones and internet and computers in their room so going to their room doesn't maybe really mean much as it used to but it was um, effective then because rooms of the 18th century for example didn't have computers they didn't have cell phones and it was a form of cutting you from friends cutting you off from other family members any form of social gathering you are cut off that plus you are confined in a small space and studies show that it it was a, a huge cause of claustrophobia. A person who's scared of small rooms or, uh, you know, children becoming, associating their rooms as jail, for example, this is causing insomnia, sleeping disorders, people not loving being in their room because it was what? A form of punishment. If you are in a space because you are forced to be there and you know yeah you are forced to be there and you are cut off from the rest of the people for a long time you're gonna associate that place with bad things so a room had a bad effect which lasted for a while and you know children became lonely and it destroyed relationships between the parent and the child. So the parents were not aware that what they're doing is actually making their children drift away. So if a child has an issue, for example, would not come out and what and report that yo I'm having this issue and and I need help. So you are creating an environment where your children cannot come and ask you for help. Right? 
so it was adopted then and then because people didn't understand the history of it they they are doing it now and it's not really any more effective that is why somebody was really killing him to say ah go to your room is not really effective right but it is very important that children are taught discipline in the household in their own home so that they won't go out and give other people a hard time you don't want your children um, suspended at school or something expelled or going through detention and stuff like that yeah let's go to the school environment um, school So there is punishment at school. We already established that um, detention, suspension, um, expulsion. There used to be corporal punishment, but like I said that many governments now are making it illegal to inflict any physical pain on a child because it is believed that it is causing damage, physical damage and psychological damage at the same time. Right? So, you don't want to be sending your school, I mean your child to school and they're giving teachers a hard time. They're disrupting other learners. other learners from learning you don't want your child to be that person right that is why it is important to start them at home teach them discipline and 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 stuff like that so in school they're not gonna spare that child some children are asking for detention because yes they this they they get detention on purpose because they because of their own personal reasons. But imagine your child is suspended, not learning, staying at home and stuff like that. This cause so much mental issues. Expulsion is even worse because now if they are going to a new school they have to report why they were uh, expelled in the first place right so many uh, schools we have seen teachers being attacked by learners in many schools especially in South Africa and people I mean te I mean uh, learners disrespecting teachers in classes disrupting other learners from learning and it's it's a huge concern to say a lot of people are saying it's because the government took out corporal punishment it's because um, um, parents stand up for their children no matter what right a lot of parents yes they always try to ensure that their child does not face consequences right And they perceive that as love. But what they're not seeing is that, what they're not seeing is that um, they're stopping their child to grow and to be able to adopt living with other people in harmony, right? So the child will never know how to exist together with other people that's why uh, okay I forgot what I wanted to say oh yeah I was saying that a child will will forget I mean will not know how to exist with other people and this will cause long-term effects you'll find that your child can't keep a job you have a child that can't keep a job when they've grown up 
and that means they still have to rely on you economically when they messed up and at that time you might be so much into financial commitments that you were looking for a relief and you can't have it because your child still still wants to be a, a child you stopped them from maturing so punishment is key right punishment is key to make sure that your child is disciplined to make sure that um yeah they're able to live with other people they're, they're able to respect authority they're able to go to an environment and understand that it is not their home in that environment there's a different law there's a different order and they're supposed to abide by it otherwise it's not gonna end well with them so if your child has that in mind then that is proper then they will be able to to flourish in life so a lot of punishment has been associated with academic people who can't excel academically to say excel academically to say pupils are unable to excel academically because of punishment right that's because we are not educating our children to say punishment is key to to what to keeping the social order if you cannot exist within the laws of of a school for example they're gonna have to expel you why because it's going to encourage other kids or is this bad behavior is going to what is going to you know be transferred to other kids and you don't want that happening um a reward system it's a positive way of trying to avoid punishment so if you s- rewarding good behavior let's let's just put it that way rewarding good behavior we see now it is implemented even in jails that somebody is out because of good behavior they were supposed to serve a long sentence but now they're no longer doing that because they've been behaving well so yeah so rewarding good behavior can encourage a child to do more of good behavior right so this is a good tool all right i want to also do a case study of a modern day punishment um but before that let me try to erase everything here just a quick case study to try and solidify what i'm doing here right okay trolling start with trolling trolling for those who don't know is some sort of harassment it's online harassment right trolling is what online harassment so trolling has its genesis if you are fishing if you know how to fish um taking that hook and throwing it inside the water is trolling that is where the genesis of trolling comes from right fish in the water all right so in the early days of online communities or the internet trolling was um more innocent you know it was just somebody ridiculing facial features of of 
a celebrity for example but then it has grown to a point where people are being harassed on the internet right and they they are because it's because they want to provoke reactions if you look at the content that has trolling there's too much reactions on it so people who want to build an online build an online following people who want to build an online following or to get ratings are trolling left right center so that they can do it quickly right um yeah so if you i'm i'm gonna try and get a video here so there's a guy called um slick talk YouTube, this is Slick Talk, and I'm back with another. Oh. So, if you look at what he has done online, he has so much following out of what? Out of trolling people. Alright, so I watched some of his stuff. Look, 82,000 views. Right? 76, 90. It is the quickest way to build an online following. I wanted to solidify that, right? Why? Because it provokes reactions. Now, Kaspar Novest, who is a South African rapper, was one of Slick Talks. Kaspar Novest was one of Slick Talk's what? This is the case that you know. Was one of Slick Talk's uh, victims. Yeah? So, it went on and on until Casper decided to enforce some sort of punishment. Right, to try and regulate cyberbullying, this behavior. So what he did is he he did what we call a celebrity boxing match to try and punch Slick Talk in the ring. Um, I'm guessing it was because he wanted him to stop what he was doing completely. But it turns out that Slick Talk only stopped harassing Casper. Plus, there was a reward during the boxing match. He got rewarded some sort of, in, in a form of money. So, instead of regulating this online harassing, it was just defect. It was just defected. It went to other people instead of Casper anymore. So, you, you'd no longer see Slick Talk um, trashing Casper online because of that online. I mean, of that celebrity um, boxing match. So sometimes you think that you are dealing with a certain behavior only to find out that, I will put it in, 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 in the context of children, right? You'll find that they only give the parents what the parents want to see, yeah? Right. 
think we went on for a while. How many minutes are we on? I don't like long videos. I do not like long videos. Okay.